Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. In our last film, we looked at the difference between a direct drive rolling mill and a rolling mill with a gearbox, a reduction gearbox. But the choice of rolling mills really does not end there. There's a few more things that you really do need to think about. Uh, I've only got three rolling mills, four rolling mills here that I can show you. These two here, and I've also got another two another part of my workshop um, and I don't have a complete range to show you but I'll just explain some of the variations of the rolling mills and the rolls that we've got on these particular ones here. So primarily a rolling mill is for rolling metal down. You can get rolling mills where the, uh, the rollers here are completely plain. Okay, so as we go on this one here, this little gearbox one here, the Agile one, these rollers here have got these grooves in. Okay, you can get rolling mills with no grooves in at all. They are called flat and you can just roll down sheet. And if you're rolling down sheet all day long, wide pieces of sheet, that type of mill is absolutely brilliant. But for sort of small jewelers and hobbyists and small craftsmen, we need a little bit more flexibility. And so this is where the Rona mills with these grooves into the mills here, and also on this part here as well, this is where the Rona mill really comes into its own and really is really so beneficial for us little craftsmen and jewelers and professional jewelers for expanding the capability and the, the, our money's worth of the rolling mills. So let's just quickly explain one little fundamental difference that you may be able to see in these mills here. This rolling mill here, this is the end. Here's the handle on this side here. On the opposite side, it's got this gears here, okay? So with this one, there is no extension rolls. With this little chap here, and also on a lot of other models, you can get the models with or without extension rolls. Now with this little one here, we've got these little extension rolls. So you have the handle on this side, so on the opposite side and on the outside of the frame, we've got these little rolls here. Now, the advantage you've got if you have a Ronin mill with these little extension rolls on the outside is that you can take them off and you can replace them with other different grooved um, extension rolls. Primarily the bottom one is always flat as you can see here and the top one has these little grooves in. Now I've got an old mill in my, in my workshop down below um, that we, is attached to the shop and I've got a different mill that's about 30 years old and what I've got I've got four different types of extension rolls. One that came in the machine pretty much like this it's a little bit larger and then we've got other sort of sizes and other D sections that we've got. So we've got, I think this is pretty much the one that came with the machine. It's just three little grooves, D sections, simple scoops out of the rolls that go all the way around. And I've got two others on here as well that are uh, a bit more of a wider D section and also just that little bit deeper as well that will allow me to make a D section wire of various widths and depths. And I've got another one downstairs with literally, literally just two grooves, but about six and an eight millimeter in width for when we want to produce really wide D section wedding bands and bangles. Now you can also buy these extension rollers with patterns on them as well. So you can roll out metal, not just with a D section, but with a pattern running all the way along it. Now, these are really, really popular when it comes to making up bangles and expanding bangles as well. So like christening bracelets, that sort of thing. Um, and they're not that expensive. I think, oh, do you know, I can't even remember years ago, these cost me just over a hundred pounds, but I think they're about 200 pounds now for a set. You may be able to even get them a lot cheaper as well. And they literally fit on these extension rolls on the outside. In this case, they're held on by a little clip, but the one down says I've removed the clip and I've never had the clip on from the start. So these rolls will come off. You just slip a new one on and you can carry on rolling. So that really makes it really, really versatile. But recently, 
um, Durson have introduced um, the Agile Mill, which does away with these, these extension rollers on the outside. But what they've done, they've brought those little D-section rollers onto the main part of the rollers here. So they're in here. The, I think there's four different D-sections on this part of the roller here. Now, that is really, really good because you've got that ability without the extension rollers, but it does limit the amount and the width of D-section that you can actually make. And also you can't add on extension rollers and pattern rollers and so forth. Um, and it also does limit the width of the flats as well. And whilst it's a great, great uh, roller mill, it does slightly limit the width of flat sheets that you can put through. And Durston do produce another mill without these D sections on the main groove. I'll show you that one in a second because that's downstairs in my workshop. So you've also noticed that we've got these little grooves on the other side here as well, and also on this little one here. Now these are literally V grooves. They're grooves that are V section. And you have the same ones on the top as you do on the bottom. And that enables you now to roll down square wire as well. So you'd have your, um, your ingot mold, you would make ingots, you would pour them perhaps into a, a little uh, shallow groove into a charcoal block or a proper ingot mold, your scrap silver, you make it into a little rectangular ingot. And from that, you can use these V grooves on here to produce square wire. And you can produce th this wire from about six mil square right down to about one millimeter square. So that's a very, very useful piece of equipment because not only it's square wire, you can get your square wire, pass it through the flat part of the mill to make rectangular section wire. Plus you can also use that square wire and draw it through a draw plate. And we'll come to that in a later film. So you can see the versatility of these roller mills. I'll just quickly take you downstairs to show the mill that I've got downstairs. Um, it's a little bit different to these, it's about 30 years old, but it's very similar in principle to these. I'll take you down there now. So here we are down now in our main workshop, excuse the absolute, absolute mess that's around. And so here's the other roller mill that I was talking to you about. The extension rolls on the side, as I was explaining to you, they go on and off. I don't have a clip on the edge. Uh, it just makes facilitating the on and off a lot easier. It has a case on the outside. And you can see what I mean here. We've got now the rolls here that are nice and wide. And on this one, we've got plenty of little V grooves going all the way around. And here's the gearbox on the outside. Pretty, pretty old model. As you can see, well, well worn. I've had this for about 30 years now. And uh, it's, though the, the, the rolls look slightly marked, they pr do produce a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. And the flexibility that this mill gives me is absolutely brilliant. As I said, I've had this for 30 years. It's a really, really old guy. So that is the other type of mill where we do have the, the flats here. We have the V grooves here, and there's the extension rolls on that side as well. As I said, I've had that for a long, long time, and it's absolutely brilliant. So as you can see, there are lots of other considerations to be looked at when you're buying a roller mill, not just a simple job of a direct drive or a gearbox. There's all these extension rollers, flats, V grooves, D section grooves to think about. For me, uh, when I started, I wanted to melt down scrap metal, gold, silver, and make my own sheet, wire, desection, and so forth. So I went for a combination mill, the one that you just saw downstairs, but obviously times change and technology changes and these agile mills that Durston produce are absolutely brilliant in quality and for versatility because it does have the D sections on the main roll and the V grooves as well, but it does limit the amount of flat sheet that you can roll out. 
you want to spend that a little bit more, get on with the extension rollers that gives you a little bit more versatility again, should you want to think about making desection wire that is wider and deeper than what is available on the main part because you cannot change these main rolls as well. You are fixed and limited to what is available on these here. Um, and even so, saying that, you can buy this direct drive mill here that has the V grooves in it and it also has the extension rollers. So this again has the versatility as well, but it's just a little bit harder to, to turn because of the direct drive. I've explained the difference between the direct drive and the gearbox in my previous film up above by here. I'll put a link to it to so go and check that out. So more things for you to think about when it comes to buying a rolling mill. And I hope that these couple of films have really given you a, a lot more insight into what's available out there. So we're going to be looking at what we're going to be doing with these D sections and these V grooves and the flats in uh, later films on our YouTube channel. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done or so already. Smash that little bell icon if you want to be notified when films go live on our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the film. Please leave a comment down below. I read every single one. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next film. Take care. Bye bye.